here's what you need to know to get started with line uh, so you want to create personalization uh, for line you have this option right here which allows you to upload a csv so we currently only support the csv format so what you'll do you'll um, find the csv on your um, on your pc and your local device after the files being processed you'll be taken to this screen so on this screen right here you can um, select different sources that we have so we have personal sources and we have company sources now if you want to know what the personal sources are you can hover this little question mark right here and it will show you what they are um, just a quick breakdown. So personal content um, looks at a person's, well, personal content. So if they've been on a podcast recently, if they've published a blog, anything like that. Then these two right here, they look at a person's LinkedIn profile. So depending on which one you select, it will look at different sections in their profile. So if LinkedIn um, is important to you, then we suggest leaving these two on. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about what each of these different line types mean, then I suggest go to help.line.ai. We have an article that shows you exactly uh, what they mean uh, with some examples on different types of output. Then company sources looks at, well, company sources. So maybe case studies that a company have published on their website, recent news. So if the company has been in the news recently um, or company blog posts. So company.com slash blog is something that we'll look at. Uh, whereas company website is another source that we have that just looks at what a company does based on the information they have on their website and write something around that. If you're not interested in, for example, this source, this source, um, and this source right here, you can toggle those off um, and you can proceed to the next step. The subject lines right here, um, if you leave that toggle on, will provide you with a unique subject line that ties into the introduction as well. So you can hit next step right here. And then you can tell us what the priority should be. So you can think of this as a waterfall method or as instructing your own virtual assistant. So you can tell the AI to first look at um, blog posts, but if the company isn't actively publishing blog posts, then look at a person's LinkedIn profile. If you cannot find anything on that LinkedIn profile, then look at recent company news. So if we cannot find the blog post, we can not find something on, um, on their LinkedIn bio, but the rest of the LinkedIn profile, we can find something. We will stop right here and produce output and then move on to the next prospect. So whichever source is most important to you, you place that the highest in the priority list um, and the least important one goes lowest, obviously. So once that is done, once you've told us which of your sources is the most important one, you can go to the final step, which is mapping your fields. Um, so from here, you tell us which field or which, which column in your CV contains which data type. So in this case, this would be the first name. This would be the last name. And you can continue mapping the fields that are important to you uh, because whatever you map in your input right here will also put in the output file. So that's carried over to your output file. And then the most important fields that we need, you can find them right here. So once that is done, you can scroll to the bottom where it says start my scan. You click start your scan um, and it will, well, start your scan. It will take you to the list page uh, where you can download your results. So the list right here, these are all the results um, and it will tell you the, the, match, uh, so the match rate, the amount of lines that we're able to produce. And you can then download your results from here and you can preview them in Excel or we recommend doing it in Google Sheets.